Hello and welcome to Knights at the Game Table Masters, where we take two professional Warhammer 40,000 tournament players and pit them head to head to see who's best. In today's episode, we have Nick Nanavati bringing his famous Orc Horde going up against David Villarreal with some Imperial Soup. Who's gonna win? Watch the episode and find out. To keep up to date with everything at Knights at the Game Table, all you have to do is click subscribe and then hit that tiny little notification button next to it so every time we upload a new video, YouTube will be sure to let you know. Now, while you're watching the episode, you might be interested in learning some of these tournament tactics. Or perhaps you just want to learn how to get cheap miniatures, or maybe you want to improve your painting skills or even learn how to paint faster, or just find more time to play the game. If you would like the answers to any of the things I just said, then you're going to want to download the Knights at the Game Table Guide. It's a free guide that you can get at the link in the description below. And also don't forget that you can get entered into our monthly draw to win a start collecting box of your choice. All you have to do to get entered is leave a comment down below and share this video and we'll enter you into a monthly draw to get any start collecting box you want, even the towel. So while you're leaving the comment down below, sharing the video and getting your free guide, I'll get ready to see you in the game. Today on Nights of the Game Table, I'm going to be playing Orcs. I'm running a very different Orc list to what normal people run or what I'm used to, but hopefully with it'll, it'll work out for me. I have a Death Skulls Brigade with a big mech with a shock attack gun. That's going to be the visuals attachment, so he's a shoot, souped up shock attack gun, a weird boy, and a war boss with a power claw, which I upgraded to be the dead super killer power claw. Then I have five units of 10 shooter boys, each with a big shooter and a big chopper. They're all going to all be in five trucks with wrecking balls. Then I have one unit of 30 orcs, shooter boys, with another big chop in there as well. I have three mechs for my elite slots, I have three solo death copters for my fast attacks, and I have three smasher guns in my heavy supports. Then in my, I have a Bad Moons Battalion with another two weird boys and a big mech with a custom force field. In there I just have three units of 10 grots and 15 looters. So I, I wanted to bring something fun, and since the Castellan got nerfed, I figured, hey, let's try the Valiant out. So I brought the Valiant, I brought a Custodius Patrol with two bike squads. Uh, the fact made the bikes usable because I can jump over his infantry to get to his characters, or well, intervening models in general. And then I brought a mixed battalion of Space Marines. It's a little weird because I'm going to have a Raven Guard Librarian who's in Phobos armor, Salamander Librarian who's my Warlord with the plus one toughness uh, cloak, and then oddly enough bringing some scouts that are Black Templars that gives me access to Nifty Stratagem and then Imperial Fist Infiltrators. This is mainly to try to stop the jump first turn because I don't want to have to deal with that right away. I'm going to deploy my army trying to leverage my shooting advantage over my opponent. I have a lot of shots with my smasher guns, my shock attack gun and my looters and using the boys and the trucks to counter charge and kind of maneuver around the table for things like recon. So actually I have a very aggressive army. My whole point is I'm going to pretty much be on the line but I don't necessarily want them to get behind me. So so on the line with the infiltrators in the back and everybody else just pushing forward. Generally, I'm just trying to kill the other guy. Uh, I'm playing orcs, pretty straightforward. If I need to, I can start being janky and cagey by trying to deep strike the death copters or move the trucks in somewhere where they're not going to get killed and try to score points. I got a plethora of little shots. Um, I knew I wasn't going to win on the command point game versus orcs. They take brigades and battalions on top of that. So I'll probably be starting the game with one to zero command points. So. We'll see how that goes. I think my biggest advantage in this game is going to be that I have more bodies and I have better range than my opponent. He's going to have to come to me and then fight me the hard way. I got a 2 plus armor save. Like, on um, the things that matter, they're tough. I'm most worried about the Valiant because it's just super hard to kill. And all those Custodes bikers he's got, all those hurricane bolters are a real problem for my horde army. It's just so many shots and they're tough to kill too, so it might just not work. I don't know if I can kill enough of things. Well, Dave's a pretty awesome guy, so I hope you have a great game. I'll take a small loss as a victory for me, but uh, I'm in it to win it. So now we're gonna roll off the first turn. You got All the plus right. one, you got it. Uh, so I will elect to go first. All right, I'm gonna attempt to seize the initiative. Don't get it, don't get it, don't get it. You got Ooh, it. Oh, got it, <laughs> he got, <We> got it. it. <laughs> Not much going on in my turn one movement phase. I moved my grots that were on my top and second floor of my ruin downstairs to try to hide, and I moved my lutus upstairs to get some shots off. 
I got some weird boys out and I moved some trucks in range of the Valiant to try to get some shots off with the mech guns. Um, the mechs with custom mega blasters. On the other side of the table, I got 10 boys out of their ride to try to kill the infiltrators in the bunker, and I moved the truck up to also jump in that fight. I'm gonna, I got my weird boys out so I can try to jump my looters into a better spot, so that way they're gonna be able to shoot for the entire game, hopefully. Um, but I also moved them just in case I fail jump, so I'll still have line of sight. Um, so we're gonna cast Warpath here, which passes, plus three, dozen perils. And we're gonna cast jump onto the Ludas, which passes plus three, does not perils. So shooting phase, I'm gonna spend two command points for more DACA on my Ludas. And they're gonna all unload into the three bikes right there. How many shots? One shot each. Um, I'll keep it because the Luda nerf. You know, I'm gonna reroll it. All right. One command point to reroll into one shot. Two, three, four, five, 15. Fives to hit, rerolling ones for bad moons. Four hits so far, and more DACA. One more hit, threes to wound. Yeah, D6. Only two wounds, minus one. Uh, two three ups. Uh, pass one, failed yep. one. Two damage. All right, this um, guy. Yep, I'm gonna spend two more command points to shoot them again. How many shots this time? One again. Great start. Five more Dacas. A little bit more. A little bit more and reroll on ones. Ooh, Ooh, nice. Eight hits there. And four wounds minus one. Uh, we got four three ups. Yep. Do I live? Uh, got the one mark. The first uh, mech is going to shoot the cast one. Fives to hit. Hits, more Daka. One hit. I will use uh, my once per turn, or once per every time I shoot, I reroll a hit and wound and damage for a Death Skulls guy. So we roll the hit. Still misses. Uh, strength eight versus tough and safe. Force, one wound, minus three. Uh, four up invul? Yep. No. Goes through, D6 damage. And D6 damage, five. Okay, so 28 down to 23? Yep. My next guy in the truck next to him will shoot. He hits, strength eight, wounds, minus three. Minus three, so four up pinball? Yep. No. Goes through for another, for two damage. All right, 21, still top tier. Yep. I'll do the big shoot off the truck at it. Death Skulls reroll, more DACA, two hits. I need four fives to wound, one armor save. Two up? Yep. Is the big shooter big enough? No. The next truck's big shooter. Death Skull three roll, two more Dakas, and six fives to wound, nothing. And two big shooters from the guys in the trucks. First one, Death Skull's re roll, three hits, one save, armor, two up, uh, make it. And the next one, uh, re roll, hits, does not wound. Okay. Here, we're gonna shoot the bikes upstairs. We got a big shooter. One decimals reroll, two hits, and fives. One armor save. Uh, two up. Yep. And I make that two. Yep. Big shooter from the guys inside with a reroll and more DACA. There's one hit. What was it, 64? And no wounds. I got nine guys inside with shooters. Fives. One death skulls reroll. Solid. And I need fives to move. One armor save again. On oh, the, these um, guys? guys, yep. Okay, so looking for a two. Got a one. <sighs> okay, so I should have marked that. Yep. Um, let's gonna make it this guy. All right. My first smash a cat, smash a gun will shoot your, will shoot your custodies bikes. Okay. How many shots? One shot. Yeah. Force to hit, hits. Uh, two dice to wound. It does wound. Uh, one save minus four. Or minus two. four, so it would be a four. Save four, four yeah. It's good. Good. Next one, I'll shoot it. One shot again. Which misses, and the last one, three shots. One more DACA, two hits. First one, 
does nothing. And the second one, wounds. A uh, four of pinball. Yep. No. Goes through, d6 damage. Kill a guy. Three will, is there a good wound a guy? Yeah, he'll kill it. Uh, uh, wound a guy, leave him alive by leave one Leave him alive by one wound. No, so just... last but not least, I got the relic shock attack gun. He's gonna go straight into the Valiant. What's his strength? 10. How many shots? Pretty strong. Five. Five's to hit. Death Skull's reroll. All miss. You lucky. All right, we're gonna go to the combat. The truck is gonna charge into here. Can't stop you. Yep. Make it on an eight. Gets with an inch of you guys. And my boys are gonna charge in also. Make it on a seven, and I'll use reroll the one with you. Here we go. Make it on a nine. All right, so we're gonna activate the boys first. They're gonna pile in. Knob with a big chopper. Because he's scarier. He's got four attacks with Warpath. Oops, sorry. Uh, Reroll for Death Skulls. There's four hits. Threes to wound. Four wounds minus one. I uh, saw so four, four ups. Yep. All the fours. Uh, two. So it's two damage each. Nine regular dudes. Threes. And fours hanging out here. It's going to be four, eight, 12, 13 saves. All right, all the saves. No EP? No EP. 13 threes. That's one, one, two, three down. Three down. That should be the squad. That's the squad. So that was my top of turn one. I did some decent damage, killed one and most one and a half custodies bikes and put seven wounds on the Valiant. I'm really just trying to bide my time until he comes closer, get some free shots off on this turn one. I also got the boys out of the squad of the truck on the left side of the board, and I charged five infiltrators and wiped them all to get kill unit. So this turn I held an objective, I killed a unit, and I got one Kingslayer point for doing four wounds to the, the knight, and that's gonna put me at three to zero going in the bottom of one. Okay, so um, trying to counter punch a little bit, so I'm moving forward. It's gonna limit my options, but because those moved to grab an objective, so I, we're both holding the same, and the scouts moved to try to keep my warlord safe. Uh, bike captain is probably gonna punch some, uh, some orcs, and let's see how that goes from there. He did manage to stay just far enough away. It was a little off for me, so I was like, okay, let's double check, and um, we're gonna good, good for there, good for him, but he's out of range of my main guns of the big tank, or the big walker. So let's start our shooting phase. I mean, psychic phase. Might of Heroes on my yeah. Warlord back there. Yeah. It does cool. go off, yep. and he did a six. So we're gonna start with shooting. Yep. I'm gonna go here. So which one has big mech in it? Uh, they both do. They both do, yeah. okay. I'm gonna shoot one missile into um, this one, because it's cooler. Okay. <laughs> and I'll shoot the top guns at it as well. Okay. Flamer at this one and all the other guns at the cool one. Got it. All right, let's start with the flamer. I have 3d6 shots. <laughs> okay, I have three, four, four shots. shots. I am auto hitting, so that part is nice. And I'm wounding you on three. Yep. Uh, four, four saves, AP minus two. Yep, so I'll be doing six up intervals. And six up armors. I make one, so three go through. Uh, six damage. All right, he's got four left. Big missile into the left one, the cool one. Mm -hmm. Hits on a three, hits. Yep. It's gonna wound on a three. Wounds. Wounds. Like damage? Damage, roll high, roll on the thing. Yep. Four. four, he's got four left. It has six left, it took four. It's a uh, two D3 shots, but there's two of them. Yep. So it's gonna be six, seven, eight. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Hitting you on three still? Yep. Not bad. Okay, I missed one. Yep. And then we'll hitting you on, on threes. threes. Five. Take yeah. those out of your way. Five of saves. Ooh. Ooh, make three of them. Two go through. That's uh, two D three damage. Yep. So it might be enough. It is We're not. not. <laughs> <laughs> Down to four. Okay, so maybe that's my own mistake for not concentrating fire. I'm gonna come back to this one. Yep. All of them are within 24. Mm -hmm. There's 24, sorry about that. Yep. And keep shooting the cool one. Mm -hmm. Hitting on twos. Mm -hmm. That's actually a pretty good roll. Kind of mix up for my damage. Yeah. But uh, toughness is high enough that I need five. Yep. 
I'm going to force a few saves. Looks like four, five, five six. six. Uh, seven. seven. Yeah. Not too bad. So seven saves. Takes four. Takes, um, does he explode? Might as well. He does not. Uh, and there are, which one was that? The cool one? The cool one, yeah. Uh, there's 11 guys in that one. One orc goes down. Okay, so uh, I'm halfway there. Yep. So I'm outside of double tap range. Yep. Uh, it's going to be just 12 shots, though, from the two of them. Mm -hmm. uh, hitting the twos, though. Yep. Uh, missed one, possibly. Nope, just the one. Just the one. And one force. Got a few. Uh, oh, wow. Yep. Nine. Yep, nine. Six ups. All nine. The knob will have one one left. So everyone's dead except my big shooter. So I can't see anything else with the captain, so he's just gonna shoot the truck in front of him. Yep. But he's in double tap range. Three on twos, re rolling ones. They all hit? Yep. And then from there, I need five to one. Uh huh. Five, it only looks like three? No, three. two. Two. So. That's better. Uh, and I take one. It's got nine left. It's gonna be a bit of a stretch. I'm gonna try from here to there. Okay. the vehicle. Yep. Big shooter. And to wound. And reroll. One save. All right, two up. And you wounded one of these. Yep. I wounded one three times. Yeah, so yep. he is down to one wound. And uh, I needed a 10. Yep. Your bar. That is not a 10. Not Instead, bad. it was a stretch. The librarian here will charge that. Nice. Can't see you. Uh, eight. eight should be good. Yep. Yeah. You wanna just go ahead and check yes. that. Eight. Easy. How much room? Yes, please. Yeah. Is it possible for him to get within an inch of them? With a decent charge. Okay. So I'll go ahead and charge both units in case I do yes. terrible. I can't see you. Yeah, eight's good. Eight's gonna be good. Yep. You wanna go here? You no, know, I need to focus on getting my second kill, so I'm gonna stay on the on that guy right there. Yeah. So I got five attacks. I'm going to start with the big guy because yep. he's probably most likely to do it. Mm -hmm. Hitting you on twos, you're rolling. Yep. And then top and six, force wound. Yep. And then any force wound, we roll in a wound. Yep. Uh, four four saves. six up intervals. Fails them all, four D3. Uh, oh, he's done. Nine, ten. Does he go boom? Don't do it. He does not do it. All right, so first thing first, let's go ahead and pile in. Won't get close enough to you. All right, is that it? That is my turn. So I managed to kill two things, which gave me kill more. We both hold the same, and since I hold one, um, I'll just get the one point for that. So I, with Butchersville, I'm actually ahead of Nick four to three. So that was the end of my turn two movement phase. I got my war boss out and ran him forward. He's gonna be able to advance and charge from out of line of sight because I kept him on the inside of a building. Hopefully get into that Valiant and fight twice with his power claw. Uh, I tried to run my weird boy into the building too, but he just didn't fit, so we gave up and put him on top. He is on the bottom floor, if you guys get confused. Aside from that, I just rearranged my grot screens. I moved my trucks up a little bit. I got my two mechs on foot back into a truck and with my one solo boy who lived back into a truck. Uh, pretty much it for now, um, just setting up screens for his incoming assassin and trying to do as much damage as I can before then. So, psychic phase, he's gonna do Fists of Gork onto the war boss, which passes on a 10. I, I'm gonna try to deny. Yeah, definitely, there's 10 orcs in here, so I'm, there's 11. Uh, boxcars. Yep. No. no. Okay. The weird boy up in the back there is gonna smite the bikers right in front of him. Level two. Into a two. Looks like that's all I'm gonna cast this psychic phase. So for shooting, let's start with all the junk. Big shoot it into the four and the two bikes from the one guy in the truck. Duskulls, big shoot it off of that truck. Duskulls is gonna be two hits and a more DACA. Two hits and fives to wound. Death skulls, one armor save. Two up. The truck right in front of him will shoot him. Death skulls, all these boys. And four more Dakas, and one Death Skulls reroll. Solid hits. It's finished off with the wounds. Good wounds, four saves. 
four two pluses. And, and he lives. We'll try to shoot scouts down here, and the guys inside will shoot up there. So big shoot at the scouts. Three roll, miss, and the guys at the scouts. Regular dudes. One, two, three, four more shots. And five to wound. Use a reroll. Four wounds on those guys. On top, yep. For twos. Uh, two. Ooh. And I wounded one before, so that's three wounds on a guy. Sure. And the uh, big shooter from the guys inside. I've not used their death skulls reroll yet, so one hit only. And I did use a reroll, so no wounds. Let's go to the real shooting. We'll do a custom mega blast at the night. First one misses. Reroll for death skulls. Hits more DACA. Misses. I think I do a mortal to myself. I'll check that. Strength eight. The reroll for death skulls. Does wound one and save minus three. Uh, so four of them will. Makes nice. Sense. Next one. Misses. Death skulls reroll. Hits. Doesn't wound. Doesn't wound. And the last one. Rerolls. Still misses. I think he might have done a wound himself. I will double check that. Yeah, I did. So these two guys each take one wound. The first smasher gun will shoot the, the knight. Two shots. So much DACA. Three hits. First one, wounds. Second one, wounds. Third one, does not wound. The two wounds, minus three. Two, four, three wounds. Yep. Uh, one. one and D6 damage for three damage. 21 down to 18. The next one will do the same thing. D3 shots, two shots. Becca, two hits. First one does not wound. Second one does not wound. All right. The last one will do it. Two shots. Two hits, more DACA. Three hits. First one. Does not wound. Second one. Does not wound. Third one. Wounds. One save minus three. Uh, four of them will. No. Goes through. I really four. missed that three of them will. Yeah, for four more. Uh, 18 down to 14. Yep. The shock attack is going to shoot him. Strength. Three. three. And shots. Ten. What a guy. Five to hit. One reroll. More DACA. Five hits, six is to wound. Reroll the wound, one wound. Four pinball? Yep. Oh, Ooh, got him, D6. Might have to put that back in my pocket. Six more. Uh, 14 goes down to eight. Nice. He is on still mid tier, one more to bottom tier. All right, Lutas are getting there. Or, uh, shooting's getting there. Lutas are gonna shoot, they're gonna declare everything at, yeah, everything at these two bikes. Okay. So I'm gonna declare more DACA here. Two shots each. Fives to hit. Nice. Five, 10, 12 hits so far. 12 more shots. Again. So 17 hits so far. 17 threes to wounds. Four, eight, 12 wounds minus one. So 12, three ups. Yep. Well, there's one dead at least. Yep, so that's one and that's, that's, that's two. two. That's the squad. So much DACA. I'm not gonna shoot again. They don't have good line of sight to anything. So that'll just be the def cop to, at the scouts. Two big shooters. And a uh, reroll for Deskulls. Three hits, three to wound, three wounds. Okay, so they're out of cover. Um, yep. So it's gonna be three, four ups. Four ups, yep. So one, two. two. All right, just take these guys. Yep. Slugger boys in, uh, sorry, the shooter boys in the bunker are gonna shoot the librarian right here. So nine guys and a tank buster. Nine dudes, five more Dacus. I'm saving my rerolls for tank buster bombs, which I probably should have started with. Fours. It's going to be five, four armor saves. Four two up saves because yep. he's in the bunker. Uh, he's still fell one though. Nice. So I'm going to say he's down to four. And the tank buster bomb is three shots. Oh, still missed. That's goals. Cool. Uh, so assault phase. They just want to do it. Comment. Yeah. The war boss is going to go into this night. Can't see you. Can't see me. Double one. Not today. And then he, there we're going to charge here. I make it on an 11. I have a uh, crack grenade. Yep. Put it on a six. No. 
I will start with the war boss. On two. Yeah. Uh, can I heroically intervene if I'm within three inches? Yeah. So I'll start over there with the war boss. Oh, he's fist to Gort, actually. So, yeah. He had the extra attack. That's what I was trying to stop yeah. that. Yeah, that's right. Uh, only three hits, though, but I'll use a Death Skull's reroll for four hits. He is strength 14, so threes to wound. And Death Skull's reroll. Three wounds at minus three. So three twos become fives? Yep. Okay, all the fives. Two of the fives. So three damage each, so six damage. <laughs> two of the not fives. <laughs> so he is down to two wounds. Yep, so over here I'll do my boys next. I got the knob of the big chopper. Three hits. And threes. Three wounds minus one. Three four ups. Yep. Uh, he's alive by three wounds. Yep. Uh, two wounds. Two wounds left. Nine regular guys. I use my reroll to hit, but not to wound yet. So I have one free floating reroll. One reroll is gonna be seven armor saves for that dude. Six and seven. All right, seven three ups. Mm -hmm. uh, make them? Nope, not today. So the librarian will die. So you can fight back now. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the heroically intervened captain. You have a six up or five up armor save? Six up armor, and okay. six up invul. So it's not gonna make a different, so what I'm just going to roll all the Miser Cordia attacks. Yep. It's going to be six attacks, hitting on twos. Uh, three swoon, one reroll, because of uh, Victor Lud Games. Oh, nice. That's going to be five wounds. Five dead orcs. Pull the ones out of combat with you. And then I got this fight over here. So four times three is twelve attacks, but I'm hitting on the amazing sixes. Yep. <laughs> all the sixes. One hit. <laughs> I'll take the one. And uh, two to wound, right? Or yep. three to wound? Toughness uh, five? Toughness five. Uh, yeah. So the wounds, wounds. on four. Uh, Six up save. Fails. D3 damage. Go high. Three. I'll take it. So I'll spend three command points. Brings me down to seven. To fight again with him. Choose to hit. And a Death Skull's reroll. And three is to wound. Death Skull's reroll is going to be five wounds, minus three. Five, five ups? Yep. Stranger things have happened. Yeah. Not for lack of trying. Uh, he does die. He does die. Um, he's going to roll 2d6 to see if he explodes. Double six. Single six. Single six, all right. I think everything within 2d6 inches takes, or no, everything in 2d6 takes 6 damage. All right, so. 10 inches. That's plenty of inches. Um, takes D6 mortals. All right, so I'm gonna start with uh, the boss. Yep. Looking for a one. Mm. Oh, how many Ooh. command points? He has three He's wounds three left. left. Yeah, I'm gonna reroll that with my last, last command, command point. point. Sure. Roll better. He rolled better. All right. <laughs> the war boss is dead. And then back here, looking for a four. Got it. It's a four. So in there, is anyone on top of that truck? There's a guy with the, I think it's a mech, and then there's a boy. Does that, does my truck explode? It does not. And 11 guys inside. Three of them go down. Would you like to roll for my custodes? Sure, uh, you can roll for the last squad of orcs I have uh, in the box here. Orcs, orcs take one. Okay, not so bad. So D6 mortals to your bikes up there. One, I'm gonna use a command point on that. For three. All right, so that's going to kill one bike, and it's going to put two wounds on this middle bike. Yep. And on your custodies in the back there, four. It's going to kill one. Uh, you know what? Let's take this back one. It's going to take this one and put a, uh, leave this guy down to two wounds. Yep. That's going to max your Kingslayer. Oh, yeah. So I owe you a little bit of morale. Uh, over here, I lost five orcs. Morale. They don't care. They don't care. They just kill the knight. They're happy. That was the end of my turn, too. It was awesome. I did exactly what I needed to. I killed the custodies bikes in front of me, and I killed the Valiant. Unfortunately, he exploded and blew up my war truck and a couple boys with him, but I'll take that trade all day long. Uh, I also deep struck a Def Cops in the backfield there um, and got a point for recon. So in the end, I held an objective. I killed the unit. I maxed Kingslayer for a total of four points now. I got my first recon thanks to that Def Copter, and I got my first engineer because Grouts chilled in the backfield. So I'm running out of steam, lost a few big things. I moved my bikes up. We're gonna get closer to his, his uh, truck there. 
coming back here to try to clear this guy hanging out in my deployment zone. Uh, that's it, not a lot of movement. Everybody else that's hiding is gonna stay hiding for a little bit longer. Uh, the assassin did come out, come down to be nine inches away from the grots and nine inches away from the truck. So shooting phase, I'm gonna start with the, uh, the assassin into the truck. He's got four shots hitting yep. on twos. Mm -hmm. I don't want you to make that charge longer. Yeah. Does he hit? Mm -hmm. uh, hits four times. Tough but I, I need a wound on five. Uh, that's one, one wound. Minus? Uh, the minus is one. Five or six. He's good. Unless he's good. Mm -hmm. He's going to shoot one shot here. Yep. Hitting on twos. Yep. Hits. And then toughness. Five. So uh, five to wound. Yep. AP minus one on one save. Yep. Two so damage. Six up save. He's good. He's good. <laughs> okay. Might have and been five up. <laughs> Storm Bolter and the rest of the Bolters will shoot here. So that's going to be eight shots from them. I didn't move, so it's a double tap. Yep. And hit it on threes. Yep. And I'm wounding you on five still. Mm-hmm. Or one save. One save. And he's good. Shooting phase. Uh, that's that. We can t carry on. I'm going to try to get this truck in front of me with these guys. OK. It's going to be 24 shots. Hitting on twos, re-rolling ones. Yep. Got a couple ones. I'm gonna take the ones out first and then pull everything else out. Okay, those all hit. Two miss. Five to one? Yep. Eight. Eight, eight, eight. eight. And three wounds go through. So I rolled four too many, but I'm just gonna put the captain shots in there and just sure. reduce it by four. Yeah. So it'll be uh, eight more shots. And fives. Missed. And then mm -hmm. five to wound. Uh, one safe. One safe. And he's good. All right, so the bikes are going to charge them. The two man squad? Yep. That's a five man. Into but the five man? Well, my two man. Oh, bike sorry. Yeah. Uh, it's uh, five inches. Plenty. So we should be able to get there. Yeah, you'll get there. It's just, so just, yeah. He's going to charge here. Yep. Yeah. I'm going to overwatch the truck. Big shooter. Ooh, and Deskull's two shots, two hits. Mordaka, three whole hits. Fives to wound. With a reroll, one wound. Uh, two up. Makes it. Nice. He's going to charge the Grotz. Yep. Uh, so I'll take a few pistol shots at you. Probably yep. four in range. And Mordaka, one hit. Did the no Grotz get the Mordaka too? Yeah, they do. Oh, OK. <laughs> Uh, so I gotta do have a 3d6 charge on him. Yep. Look for at least a nine. Nine. <laughs> Got it. All right. Seven, eight. So between the two of them, that's eight attacks uh, with the lance. Yep. Hitting on twos, re-rolling ones. Yep. Reroll. Still missed one. Yep. Wounding on threes, re-rolling with the lance. Um, so missing still one. So six saves total. AP minus three. They're dead. Eight attacks hitting on twos. Yep. Missing one. Okay. Wounding on twos with the claw. Mm -hmm. Yep. Seven saves. They don't get saves for oh, so seven. seven. Yep. And then for each one he kills, he'll generate another attack. Yep. Uh, he hits all of them. Wounding on twos. Rerolling. He kills seven more. He'll stay there on the objective so I can grab that bonus. Yep. Potentially not, now that I think about it. Because if I kill your vehicle, you'll hop out. But I don't think I win six of that, or seven of that. Maybe I win seven. Yeah, let's check that first. No. OK. So uh, let's see if I can pop that vehicle. Yep. He's hitting on twos, re-rolling ones. They all hit. Mm -hmm. Wounding on threes, re-rolling. No, uh, toughness six. Toughness six. Wounding on fours, fours re-rolling. Yep. Rolling one. All right. That's still missed. So four saves, four eight minus three. Four, six up vulnerables. Makes one, three go through. Uh, here's the open. Uh, so that'll six, be eight. Eight. Does he explode? He does not. Ten guys inside that one. And all ten are good. If I piled in, I will not get within three inches, or Correct. within an inch. No, you're not. So I'm, I'll just go ahead and pile in three inches closer, though. 
like I said, I'm running out of steam, but I'm gonna push to get everything I can get while I can get it. So what happened is on his turn, I got Headhunter when, when my big medallion exploded, and because it also killed his truck, that actually gave me Butcher's Bill for killing two units on his turn. And then on my turn, I managed to kill three more units from my third Butcher's Bill. It's looking like the score is 13 to 10, because the Eversor managed to get the bo uh, bonus, putting me to hold more, kill more, and a bonus point. So a big five point turn for just the primary on that. My turn three movement phase, I'm going in for the finishing blow. I got my next position to shoot characters. I move my Ludus to be able to see everything in his army. Uh, his whole army's on board. I got boys out of their building holes to try to charge whatever's left and shoot, help shoot it up. Um, and I deep struck all three copters into his backfield. So I'm looking to kill all of his real forward moving pressure and then start to run away with it after this turn. Psychic phase. The weird boy here is going to smite. Just passed on a six, maybe more, definitely seven. Oh, I can't deny. Eight, okay. My deny is all the way over here. Uh, for three mortals on the captain. Uh, three six ups. Uh, he made one, so it's just two. He's yep. down to five. Five wounds. The next one's going to smite. Just passed for three. Six ups. Uh, he stopped to one, so he's down to three. And the last Beard Boy, who's also a plus two, big smite and perils. He takes two, and you take one. No. Six. Ooh. <laughs> That's what I get for calling it. Right. <laughs> All right. Uh, I need four sixes to, to live. He tried. Right. <laughs> All right. Um, if you could pass me that bike, he's Absolutely. gone. Smited to death. What a way to go. I'm going to use uh, my warp head to cast jump on my 30 man boy unit, which passes. 30 boys are going to teleport. So, shooting phase, we are going to shoot custom blaster here. Stuff skulls reroll hits, Mordaka hits, and twos. Two wounds on the assassin. Two four open wolves. Makes one. Yep. D6 damage. Four. Uh, two wounds remaining. Okay. The next one hits. Uh, wounds. Four up and Makes it. And the last one with two wounds left. Hits. Mordaka misses. One hit. Uh, death goes reroll. Yeah, death goes reroll. Uh, misses. Fails to wound and reroll. Wounds. Okay. Uh, four up and roll. No. Yep. To buck to kill him, and he's dead. Does he explode? Uh, he... No. Ooh. All right. And he misses the explosion on the boys. We'll shoot the first smash a gun here on the far left. Two, three shots. Two shots. Fours. One more DACA. Two hits. First one does not wound. Second one wounds. One save minus three. Four up and Nice. It. Next one. One shot. Misses. And the last one. One shot. Hits. Mordaka. Hits. Two hits. First one. Wounds. Second one. Does, uh, wounds. Top of six. Yeah. Uh, so we have two saves. Mm -hmm. Two four up and Oof. First one. Kills the wounded guy. Yes. And the next one. Two wounds to the fresh guy. Um, that is fine by me. So I'll spend two command points for more DACA on my Ludus, and I'll shoot 10 Ludus at him. Three shots each. Should be enough. Makes up for earlier. So yeah. Five, 10, 14 hits so far. 14 more shots. And there are ones. That one was a wound, this one's not. That's going to be 19 hits and three wounds. It's going to be 10 saves for the uh, studies. So I got 10 3 up saves. Yep. Like them all? No. He did not. So that's going to be the last of him. Big mech with shock attack gun at those two guys. Strength. Shots. 
Seven shots, strain six. Fives to hit. And I got one reroll. One more DACA. One hit only. And one wound. Uh, Minus four five. Up yep, four bindle. Ooh, double damage. Uh, D six is going to be, I'll use my Deskal's reroll. One only. He's down to one wound. Um, I will spend two command points to shoot him again. Strength, 10 this time, and 12 shots. OK. For your reroll, one more DACA, four hits. Uh, four wounds, four angles. Uh, OK, so I'm going to do this one until he dies. So no, it doesn't matter. You can roll. It's, oh, because he's going to have three up, three up and roll. Yep, so, so one time. First one, he lives. Yep. Not I'll kill him. And then two three up storm shields. And two three ups. Fails one. How much damage? Five that's will get him. Yep, that's enough. So then this death cut, so we'll shoot these scouts. Six shots. We roll for death skulls. One more DACA. Three hits. And we roll for more DACA. Three armor saves. Uh, three four ups. Yep. Got them all. Ooh. 50-50. Yep. No. All these boys, 19 shooter boys into the scouts. Five more shots. And fours to wounds. Eight wounds. I think that's three, three. three guys, four three guys. guys. Okay. So okay. we're just going to leave the sergeant in the corner. Yep. This is the Dackle Jill, go for him. Cocked. And Duskulls, two hits. And Duskulls, one wound for that guy. Uh, four up armor? Yep. And, uh oh. He's good. Lives. And the last Dackle Jet, or sorry, uh, Death, Death Cop. Right? Not Dackle Jet. And rerolls. More Dacca. Four hits. Two wounds. Uh, two four ups. No. That'll get him. So that was the end of my turn three. I did the final blow to our friend David here. Uh, I was able to kill the Eversur assassin, the shield captain on a bike, the last two custodies, shield bikes, the two custodies and the holding down his backfield and all of his backfield scouts with a good move of jumping and death cops is all coming in at once. He is down to just one librarian hiding for dear life against mm, 1,600 points of the orc army. What can he do? Also, the score is now 14 to 13 because I maxed Kingslayer. I got two more recon, two recons, two engineers, and I held something and I killed something last turn. The concession makes a lot of sense. Um, the game is his. Um, I can go ahead and call it from here, but that doesn't mean my warlord ran away in shame. He's going to go charging into the works as a good salamander, second imperial citizens. <laughs> good game, Nick. Good game. <laughs> Long stretch. <Thanks. laughs> that was rough. <laughs> So he sees the initiative, which happens, because all that means is, yes, he did get free shots, but I wasn't going to do much to his army anyways because he was so far away. So that wasn't too bad. But I think what killed me is just not having the command points. I didn't need Victor of the Blood Games. I used it once in the game. Um, but I had, I had the three command points to, uh, to stooping dive into his, into his uh, war boss. That would have saved me. Um, a little bit hard to do from where I was at at that moment because we do have to count the distance in charge phases now with the fact. Uh, you can ignore it in movement, but not the charge phase. Overall, I might have been a little too far forward with the infiltrator's first turn because he got a first turn charge. But even if I set them back, he would still be there and I, they, were, they would have been out in the open probably doing nothing. So, do what I could do, but I didn't do all that much. Uh, the first two turns... I got as many points as I could though, so I think I did that right. Especially turn two when I wound up with like eight points. But with one model left, at the end of the game, I would have just stayed in, but he would still thrash me regardless. So that was a really fun game. Thanks, Dave, for playing. Um, you got to really see the power of the orcs. Some interesting things I did with my orc army that you may not really see too often. I, I actually hung back for most of it and kind of tried to leverage my shooting advantage instead of just running at him and screaming wog like most orc players would do. So uh, using those different strategies is key to your success at the tournament levels, the top level play. So you can check some of that at Knight's Pro. In this game, some cool stuff was like when my war boss 
fought twice against the Valiant. He charged in, did like six damage, then got stepped on, but he didn't give up. He fought when he died, took it with him, and then the Valiant exploded and knocked out one of my trucks and the war bosses. That's a pretty funny moment. Um, but really, the Smasher Guns, the Ludas, even the, the Shock Attack Gun, all just added up too much over time, just shooting, 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 killing his Custodius bikes, killing his Valiant, um, and just wore him down over time. And my Death Kathas were surprisingly really effective at clearing out his backfield. I was really impressed with those guys. So overall, the game ended 14 to 13 on turn three with me winning. Um, he had one model left, so he conceded graciously. Um, if it continued on, it would have been a bloodbath, as I would have just maxed everything out from there probably would have ended up being like 35 to 13 or something. The Green Tide wins again. Goodbye, Imperial Soup. Your night just wasn't a match for Nick and his Orcs. Now, if you were impressed with some of the tactics that you saw, and you want to learn more about what it takes to become a professional Warhammer 40,000 player, then you might be interested in learning more about Knights at the Game Table Pro. If you want to learn more about how you can get involved in that, maybe have one of these professional experts like Nick himself design an army for you and teach you how to pilot it to win your very first GT, or maybe something even bigger than that, all you have to do is look into the description of this video and you'll find a link to learn more about Knights of the Game Table Pro. So if you want to learn more about that stuff, then make sure you go and check it out. And if you'd like to find out who's going to be playing next time on Knights of the Game Table Masters, make sure you stay tuned. Next month on Knights Masters. Orcs versus the Gene Stealer Cult.